गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग थैंक यू सर हाउ आर यू प्रीतम आई एम फाइन सर थैंक यू आस्किंग tell me something about your interest in work, uh, this watching commentary documentaries big cats sir from uh, young age uh, i came across discovery and the animal planet channel so there were shows mainly on lions uh, tigers etc you appeared for forest service also no sir you appeared i think once no in my first attempt i appeared for forest service acha what do you know about forest in india so we have variety of forest the total forest cover is around 23% uh, around around or something more exact number exact percentage the forest and tree cover would go around 24% i am not exactly sure in the decimal points so. how do we assess the forest cover sir the major mean m- measurement is on three bases dense uh, um, what way we do that how we measure it i am not exactly sure but it can be satellite imagery so. acha you are good uh, interest in national and international affairs also yes sir tell me what are the latest developments in india so in india or in, in india in india so recently we had elections to states so that is more than a month decent in last 2 3 days something is happening in india so there is um, petty procurement issue regarding telangana hmm. there was a controversy regarding hindi imposition by many states something azadi ka azadi ka amrit mohotsav that something. has been continuously going on but, but something is happening now in the last 3 4 days sorry sir i do not recall that sir brick session is going to take place somewhere brick you know brick brics nation yes ah, full form so brazil russia india china and south africa sir. Ah, some uh, session is going to take place somewhere ah, it the summit is uh, planned to be hosted in china sir so india is participating i haven't seen any official statement on it sir it but will par- india will participate it has not denied but uh, but some efforts are being made by china Yes, sir. China want um, Prime Minister Modi to represent India at the summit. It has come in paper. How? How they want? Sir, I have read media reports, but no official statement on that, sir. I think there are some foreign minister visited there. Recently, sir, the foreign minister Wang visited India, sir. Uh, some uh, fire incidents have taken place uh, on the scooters, EV scooters. Out of that, electric uh, scooters have been burnt very recently. Burnt or caught fire? Caught actually? fire. Caught fire. Sorry, sir, I do not recall that, sir. Huh? Not recall. Ach. Only state or UT where there are no gram panchayats, or all the states are having gram panchayats, rural areas, urban areas. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know. You have gram panchayat. You you are from a village or from a town? Yes, sir. I am from village. From village. You have a gram panchayat there? Yes, sir. Uh, largest cricket stadium in the country. Sir, it is in Gujarat. Huh. The Motera Cricket Stadium that was inaugurated. And in the world? It is in the world's largest also in the sitting capacity now, sir. Ach. I think it has been renamed now. it was it is being renamed after our prime minister being renamed or renamed already done sorry sir i'm little blur on that i Achha. do not recall exactly do you have power shortage in our country yes sir we have been facing coal shortage due to that we have been facing power shortage also how much shortage any any idea it is coming in papers that one day shortage was that much I do not recall it in hours. Means how many hours? Uh, so it is. Thank you. Sir. Um, Kota sounds very much like Kota. Is it uh, mm. nearby? No, sir. It is far. Uh, Can you tell is, me about your Kota city? It is a village, sir. Kota okay. in the local language. Okay. Sikar is the district. Sikar is the district. Can you tell me about uh, Sikar district? What are the important attractions and 
things about your district so there are few religious attractions like uh, the khatu sham ji uh, jain mata ji uh, other than that sir we have many famous uh, uh, forts and havelis like the lakshman god lakshman god fort etc other than that sir sikkar is also emerging as an educational hub uh, in rajasthan after kota so these yeah. are few things okay. uh energy basket india's energy basket can you define india's energy basket where do we what kind of energy sources do we have where do we get it from so we have a major dependence on fossil fuels like coal oil and for coal also we import around 30% uh, for oil we import our 85% in the natural gas we import our 55% of our lng uh, from qatar mainly so and other than that sir there are say, uh, share of renewables uh, like solar wind etc other than that we have uh, nuclear energy which uh, accounts for around 2% of our installed power capacity okay uh, you are following the latest developments in international relations yes sir do you think for india uh, geo economics is more important or geo politics is more important i am not able to exactly differentiate between the terms geo economic is economic interest of the country politics is a strategic importance so sir, sir i am not able to sri lankan uh, crisis uh, what are uh, what are the positive things for uh, india from the sri lankan crisis so one thing is that sri lanka has sought india's help and there is a thawing of ties from earlier times so that is one thing uh, secondly sir china is kind of seen as uh, the sri lankan people are so are also seeing that the chinese side has been uh, putting sri lanka in its debt trap so that there is a certain resentment among public also regarding that sir how can we use this to uh, improve our relationship with the remaining neighboring countries sir we can use like china has been approaching nepal um, and bangladesh etc so uh, sri lanka gives a, gives us an opportunity to um, showcase other countries that how Uh, chinese policy is completely in its fair without any th- thought to the welfare of the other state so that can be a caution for other countries to trade cautiously with china sir okay uh, you are familiar with iuc and red list yes sir can you tell me the categories in iuc and red list so we have critically endangered endangered uh, threat vulnerable uh, Uh, near threatened uh, least concerned and uh, some have insufficient data and in the extreme we have wild in, extinct in the wild and then is completely extinct can you classify the big cats in india into these categories so lion and tiger are endangered leopard and snow leopard are cu- currently vulnerable sir cheetah so we do not have cheetahs in our country they went extinct around 1950s okay. so that is extinct in india right uh watching documentaries on big cats what are your key takeaways from this watching documentaries on big cats sir it uh, gives me a perspective about uh, wild uh, that how things are in wild it is a completely different world from ours so that is one thing uh, uh, secondly sir it uh, uh, gives me perspective about how critical it is to balance nature we cannot disturb nature and how in in some documentaries they show the extent of ecolo- ecological degradation that has taken place and has been harming this and due to that their impact on other species also so there is a complete uh, imbalance in the ecosystem regarding that and so finally sir uh, i also uh, have seen some of the um, steps that we can take um, regarding these uh, to save okay. or to preserve our you are familiar with the concept of tiger senses yes sir. what kind of technologies are used for the process of tiger senses 
So I'm not aware of the technologies, but we use both uh, Pugmarks and, and Stripes in the current app, which we uh, camera capturing technology is there. So we put cameras in random pl in the in places like where there is possibility of capturing images and then we evaluate them. Uh, so we come if, across the number. If you were to highlight uh, three most important uh, international uh, uh, interest in and general affairs from national perspective and from global perspective three major important events right now sir one is the russia ukraine crisis uh, secondly our uh, neighborhood crisis that both in sri lanka and pakistan thirdly sir i would say the rise of china or the aggression by china shown on many neighbors thank you sir okay uh, can you comment on the russia ukraine peace talks and where is it heading so both countries have held dialogues uh, in Turkey recently um, and both have um, given assurances that we will figure out a way uh, by diplomacy but the aggression or the violence is not stopping. So Russia has said that we will not stop the war uh, while the talks go on so they have been going parallelly. Sir. What is the objective of Russia? Sir, so while declaring the special military operation uh, President Putin gave that we will we are aiming for demilitarization as well as denazification of uh, Ukraine. So from their point of view, these are two basic objectives. What is zero COVID policy which is being followed by China? China, sir, has taken a strict uh, uh, view of the COVID cases. So whenever a case uh, crop up uh, in any place, it takes harshest measure and lock down the entire place around it so that it does not spread and China is aiming for zero cases so that is uh, called zero COVID policies. Okay. Uh, India US 2 plus 2 dialogue is going on. What is this 2 plus 2? So it is a meeting at the ministry area level where our external affairs minister and defense minister held a, hold a meeting with the, their counterparts in USA. So. Who are the counterparts? Uh, so we have uh, uh, Anthony Blinken, uh, their USA's foreign um, uh, minister, foreign secretary, and their defense secretary is uh, Mr. Lloyd. I do not recall the first. I think Blinken is the defense secretary. Just take a look when you go home. So what were the outcomes of this dialogue? So both countries uh, took a review of the comprehensive uh, strategic partnership and uh, uh, all that we will be cooperating on many areas like climate change, emerging technologies, etc. So it was a broad uh, discussion on the ties going forward. So. What has been US's criticism of India's approach uh, towards the Ukraine crisis? Sir, USA <coughs> has continuously hold the opinion that India is not being uh, strict in its condemnation of uh, Russia. And USA has also called for stopping the uh, energy or the oil that we are purchasing from Russia. So, okay. Uh, you also play volleyball. Yes. Sir. So, how well does the Indian team do at the international level, and who is the captain? So, for Indian women team, we have um, Chenawala, and uh, from the men's we have Karthik Asok at the moment captain. And so we have been, we have not been doing well at the international level. We do not qualify for Olympics. We are ranked by we are ranked um, very low around 80s and 90s in the international rankings. Which countries uh, do well in the international competitive uh, volleyball? Sir, in men we have Brazil, uh, USA, uh, Russia, France, Italy. Poland and so in women we have China, uh, Brazil, uh, Russia and so France also does well in women volleyball. Uh, okay, last question. What is load shedding that we often get to hear? You are an electrical engineer. So load shedding is when the demand of electricity uh, surpasses the supply. So 
to maintain a balance in some lord is or lord is said like a, a certain village or a certain part of city would not get electricity so that is lord setting sir okay thank you thank you sir have you seen sherni sir sherni movie yeah yes ma'am uh, it has been a while but i have seen the movie you have seen the movie yes sir so what happens to the main character she is found dead at the end uh, the tigress she is the main character and what happens to the forest officer forest officer have a important role but i believe that the tigress was the main character it but what happens to the forest officer uh, she was transferred ma'am huh. ha so if you were in the place of this forest officer would you have handled the situation differently ma'am she took uh, very honest and uh, precaut um, um, and say precocious measure while uh, while performing her duties and uh, i do not think ma'am i could have done any different from her she was uh, upright in her duties ma'am okay jal shakti mission how is it connected with rajasthan it's in news right now rajasthan for some reasons how it is connected with rajasthan jal shakti and rajasthan ma'am in general i know but i do not know the current news is there any canal issue going on in rajasthan it's been coming in news almost every day and there is uh, uh, the river interlinking project of chambal parvati and kali sindh so that has been in news for some time now you don't know the reason why it is coming in news but when the rajasthan government is asking the center to declare it a national project Absolutely. and yes. fund it mm. so that has been a reason okay take out forts palaces and deserts from rajasthan so how will rajasthan introduce itself sorry ma'am i couldn't take out forts palaces from rajasthan so in that case how will rajasthan introduce itself I mean, rajasthan would still have a great culture we have our cuisines like dal bati churma mm. uh, lassan ki chutney etc so food is one uh, second is ma'am the bishnoi uh, committee that it cohabitation or coexistence of nature with the humans is second uh, that rajasthan is identified with uh, okay fine good so uh, do we have uh, presidential elections coming in india are yes, going to happen when it is meant this year only later this year and can you briefly tell us the process and presidential the president election of the president uh, it is uh, conducted by election commission of india mm -hmm. the electoral electoral college uh, include the elected members of uh, uh, state legislative uh, council as well as assemblies mm -hmm. and it, mm, that of parliament both the houses yes ma'am okay uh, one last question uh, you are from a village so uh, tell us about one of the most successful welfare schemes in your village ma'am i would say it is uh, manrega okay and how why, what has led to its success ma'am i see people who do not get to, uh, work regularly they do take part in the uh, mg narega job that come up so it helps in stress or distress in economic terms so and there is there is a huge participation of women especially so that helps the children in their families to join schools etc and so i think ma'am due to these reasons thank you thank you